Good morning, my brother. Welcome to your daily grip on God's Word. Hey, it's really good to re-engage with you guys here this morning. But I do want to do a huge shout out to Joey, to Brian, and to Steve for leading us along this path of the book of Matthew. I'll be closing us out with chapters 22 through 28. And let's look forward to spending these next few days with you guys. Also, I love how uh, Joey, Brian, and Steve have just been encouraging you guys to maybe share the grip with one other friend. Um, we really appreciate when you do like the vid video and then share it with others. Uh, make sure you subscribe you know, to the YouTube channel. It just all helps. We're seeing God take the ministry exponential right now because um, it's his ministry, not ours, right? Today, chapter 22. I would love to hear what verse rose up for you. Something that I would like for us just to visually engage with is Jesus comes down or comes alongside of us. Maybe he sits right here next to me, right here. Maybe early in the morning, he meets you right on the couch. And, and you ask him this question. Here's the title of my grip. Teacher, what is the greatest commandment? So as we share that with Jesus, here is what he answered. Are you ready? I have two verses, 37 and 38. Here we go. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Verse 38. This is the first and greatest commandment. Okay, thank you for that answer, Lord. That was my G for gripping the word. Here is my R, my reveal. First off, wow. There is that little three-letter word again. Do you see it? All. Amazing alignment to our life verse, not only for me personally, but for the ministry in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Remember how it starts out? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. My eye, my implementation is this. This is such a great reminder to live life all in with all caps. Daily, I need to surrender my will to the perfect and pleasing will of God. Challenging for me, guys. I don't know about you. Maybe you have this down that every day you just relinquish your own will, your own desires, your own interests. And then God becomes maybe plan B for the day. God, I don't want to live that way, guys. I really don't. I want the Lord to be first and foremost in my daily walk with him. My prayer, my P from gripping the word is, Lord, I give you all that I am to use for your glory. May all that I say, may all that I do bring you glory. Now, guys, on the bottom of my journal, um, I have different verses that are just random. And I love how there's times that verse, many times, most of the time, just uh, puts an exclamation, exclamation mark on the grip. Here we go. It's found in Jeremiah 17, 7. Uh, it says, Blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. Amen and amen. Guys, let me know if um, there's any prayer requests that you have. We want to make sure that the community of Innis Grip is a praying community, praying alongside of you, praying over you, and just walking alongside shoulder, sh shoulder to shoulder on the fairways of life. So let me go ahead and close this out collectively with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you, God, that we can continue to come together as men diving into your word and being sharpened day in and day out. Lord, let us be men that are all living life all in for you. God, um, help us to keep you at the, at the um, first and number one priority as we get up each and every day. Lord, that tea time to spend that time with you. Um, Lord, you know it's coming each and every day. So you can help equip us and help strengthen us and guide each and every one of our steps, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys. I will see you in the morning.